of the games. Five Nights at Freddy's 4. Five Nights at Freddy's 4 is the canonical first entry in the game. It takes place in 1987, or 1983, I mean. And we are introduced to the withered versions, or the nightmare versions of the withered characters based off of a, the original Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria. This is the... A lot of people think it is Michael Afton, the son of the killer in Mr. Nightmares, or the other kill, or the, his other son, Dave, which we just found out the name of. Okay, so. Final Fantasy Freddy's 4, we're playing as someone, and it's their nightmares. But we learn through the minigames that Dave, the crying child, Gets his frontal lobe bin off by his older brother and his friends on his birthday and dies. Which then used to be considered the bite of 83 instead of 87. But considering he dies, FNAF 1 phone call says he lived, someone lived from the bite. So it isn't this. That, I don't know why uh, the theory community and for this game is kind of stupid at times. At times, at times. Yeah. But, um, so, he dies. And it's up to you to decide whether or not that causes the rest of these murders. But at the other pizzeria where the Nightmare animatronics are inspired by, five kids go missing and are killed. We got Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, and Foxy. And then Golden Freddy. Golden Freddy being a animatronic that never is seen physically in any of the games. So he's never actually there. He's always a phantom animatronic. Where, so then, that Fred Bears, the one where that kid get got bit on his birthday, and the original Freddy's go and get shut down and sold to a new parent company. This new parent company opens up Five Nights at Freddy's to the new and improved location, which has their movie being filmed right now with an official teaser, now that we finally got it. I love how this looks, and I hope it's just a glammed up version of the official animatronic, but the Five Nights at Freddy's 2 toy animatronics take parts in pieces from the original animatronics, theorized to now split the soul into here. And after a couple of nights, William Afton, the murderer, goes on another killing spree, kills five more kids, or I think it's actually more. I think he kills six or seven kids. He kills a lot of kids in this series. Like, a fuck ton of kids die. Um, oh, wait, Ludwig just finished his thing. I'm sorry. With one S tier product, Ryan, you fucking did it, man. I don't know how you top found... of the I'm sorry, did Top of the Morning only get B tier? And Feastables got higher? That's some bullshit. And that's it, everybody. All right, see you later now. Goodbye now. Subscribe. And like that, now people will come and join this live. <laughs> We're at one person watching right now. So That's me. That's me. <laughs> No, your stream is pretty delayed. I know. It's pretty interesting. I, it's I, pretty interesting. I've tried to fix it, but so I think this is actually a map of yeah. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Shit. So about seven more kids go and get killed in the second pizzeria that we play in, in Five Nights at Freddy's Two. So. Then they possess the toy animatronics. But keep in mind, these ones do not go missing. So we have five missing kids at the original Freddy's. Six new murdered kids. This place gets shut down. But on the sixth night, we learn that we are going to go and do a pizza party during the day shift. So clock out at six and probably come back around noon. Get only two or three hours of sleep. And then this is where it's theorized that we get the official bite of 87 since this game takes place in 1987.
And this only came out a few months after uh, Five Nights 1 2, so keep that in mind. But I still think this game is the best Five Nights at Freddy's game in the whole series. And I will die on that hill. This was the last game that made me scared. <laughs> this game was the beginning of me laughing at fear. Real. That is real. Um, okay. That sounds corny as shit. Me laughing at fear. <laughs> well, like. I don't know. Yeah. I la- Ludwig's stream ended, and now we went up uh, two people oh, for a yeah. moment. I- I'm telling you, man. I'm literally going to start getting ready to end the stream, and then people will come in. And so, what happens is, we get the bite of 87 here at this location during that birthday party that we are now the security guard of. So, we get our head bent off the next day, allegedly. I make that sound like we're talking about P. Diddy or some shit. Um... <laughs> So then, this pizzeria closes with all of the animatronics being decommissioned apart from the original ones that had the kids stuffed inside them, and then they get repurposed into the Five Nights at Freddy's 1 animatronics. Oh, boy. Now, the, this entire game is has almost no story apart from the phone guy that's been there since the Fredbear Family Diner days gets killed here, we have no other... Hey, Ethan. We have no other actual lore that we know of for these games. This one game that introduces us to everything has no real additional lore apart from one dude's death. That's it. Um, then, 30 years after some point... In the game's timeline, around Five Nights at Freddy's 1, but a lot of people say it's after, some people say it's before. I think it takes place at the beginning of the Five Nights 1 model, or design timeline. So like, 1990, early 1990s. William Afton, the killer, gets springlocked in his murder bunny suit. And left for 30 years to rot. And become Springtrap. The only lore significant thing here. Is that he burns. We don't know who we play as. and But we do know that everything else was auctioned off that they found. And they had original parts. But this is... Springtrap was the only animatronic, so the exos or endoskeletons and everything were not recovered. Maybe just some of the shells, but no actual animatronic parts. We also don't understand shit about the puppets or any of these phantoms because the FNAF community gave up and decided to just go read books. And no one wanted to deal with Balloon Boy or the Watermelon Kid. I mean, fair, but hey. Then, we get probably the worst, or, I mean, honestly, FNAF 3 is the worst, but then, canonically, you could also say FNAF 4 takes place at any point, like, the actual nights of FNAF 4 take place at any point during the game, or during the franchise. And this was supposed to be the last game canonic, or, Scott made, but no, not a lot of people were satisfied with it, and so he came back and made Sister Location, which then went to sci-fi after being too spooky. Then he made this game, FNAF World, and everyone hated it. So yeah, we have about 12, 13... Dead kids. At least no. two dead adults. And a dead serial killer and a partridge in a pear tree. Not the first time. Yeah. Um, also, when you think about it, if the FNAF 2 animatronics are possessed, it's anywhere from a, I'd say, 6 to 12 range. That means people... In 2015, or no, 2014, 
thirst over a child possessed robotic chicken. Did you know people simped over a serial killer? Yes, I mean, people simp over Matthew Lillard. People fuck anything that has a hole. People are attracted to anything and everything. And it's sick. Yeah, they'll fuck anything with a hole. But then this... Think Drake got caught? What? Why does he think Drake got caught? Alright, let's go back to the video. <laughs> Okay. Um. Don't forget, this is live. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> you thought I could edit it out? <laughs> I know you couldn't. That's why I said it. <laughs> Allegedly, allegations of Drake. Well, I'm excited for the FNAF movie too because I mean, look how good that animatronic looks so far. That is an official prop. All of these are. It's a bad image, but I'm excited. Well, thank you all so much for watching the stream. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, no, I did not end the stream. You ended the stream? Oh.